Kelly Brown here with Mike Cox with uh, Sims Pets coming out. Uh, when is it coming it's out? It's going to be coming out this fall okay. on PS3, Xbox 360, 3DS, and PC. Great. And uh, it has some connect abilities as well, correct? It does have some connect abilities. With connect, you bring, you're able to speak to the world. You're able to speak to the Sims. You're able to navigate certain menus by uh, saying, select German Shepherd or select Persian Cat. So that kind of helps you navigate, create a sim through the menus. In game, you're able to maybe have your sims go freshen up, or use the toilet, or, or maybe even socialize, you know, directly by saying "be friendly" or "be romantic." So it adds a lot of fun. You can play the game without Connect, obviously, but for those of you with Connected, it adds a little bit more uh, variety and, and some fun ways of just talking to your sims. Right now, does it have any abilities for you to move around with Connect, or is it just only voice commands? Well, it's it's um, it is voice commands only. You know, as we thought through it. Like, what is the most natural thing to do with these sims, with these animals, and, and speaking to them, directing to them, you know, barking at them, as you will, you know, that seemed like the more natural thing to do than, uh, than anything else. So that's where we spend our time, and I think that's really paid off. Right. It's not like you're going to be preening your pets as you go through yeah, it. Yeah, and a preen them. I, yeah, it's, I don't really, yeah, no. It, speaking to them seems to be the most natural uh, approach. Exactly. Now, exactly how many pets can you choose from in the console version of Sims? Well, there are over 100 cat and dog breeds to choose from. So that's just choosing iconic breeds from, uh, you know, uh, oh gosh, that Manx cat to the Persian cat to uh, um, various different dogs from Appenzeller Zinnenhound to the uh, German Shepherd, you know. So once you've done that, you can of course customize them. You know, Sims is nothing if it's not a creative game. Uh, so I can take that Dalmatian and give them different colored spots or take that German Shepherd and say, mm, he'd look better with maybe a, a poodle uh, a shape to his coat. So, Wait, you're saying I can make my German Shepherd look like a poodle? Absolutely. You could make your German Shepherd look like a poodle and then making purple, yellow, or all the colors in between. So, you know, you've just got that customization to, to have there. The, the real point is, is we've given you the tools to have fun to make that dog of your, you know, that you had as a child, or maybe that dog that was part of your nightmares as a child. You know, just the, the fun's there to just create and uh, modify and tweak. One of the greatest things with The Sims is the exchange. Now, is that available as well with The Sims Pets? It is available with The Sims Pets. On the console, we've got a, um, a specific pets exchange uh, where you can publish your creations. You might be able to, you know, you can certainly download other creations from people. Um, we've got something called Mysteries in the game, and we can get to that more, but uh, if you find yourself in a where you need a cat and you don't have one, hey, maybe your friend's got a cat that he would share with you online that's got just the skills you need to solve that mystery. Now, we notice in the background you don't have just dogs or cats, you actually have Sims available as well. How do the Sims play in part when you're talking about pets? Oh, well, you know. People love pets. People all over the world love pets, and you know, Sims love them as well. Now, some of the Sims could be allergic to fur. That is a trait that you could have. So, if you like to torture your Sims, make them allergic to fur and fill them in a house full of cats. But, but they have these relationships with pets. Pets have the power to make Sims feel better. They have the power to maybe make them miserable by chewing up the couch. But um, I think what's really powerful about this version is to recognize that Sims are. are let me back up. Pets are Sims. I can control them. I can be the dog. And if they're going to be Sims, you know, you would expect that they have wishes. You expect that they could even have a career or have relationships with other pets and even with other Sims. So that's, we've, 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 it's as simple as that. We've made pets Sims and as such, you know, the Sims are going to benefit from that relationship and those interactions. So you have a relationship. I have, maybe I have a German Shepherd and he falls in love with a Chihuahua. Now are my puppies going to end up becoming possibly a smaller version of a German Shepherd? Well, provided one's male and one's female, <laughs> you will be able to breed them. There is generational gameplay in here. So uh, you'll be able to breed those two, see what their puppies look like, maybe breed them later on and play out their, these multiple lives if you want to. So they're definitely going to not have just one puppy. You're possibly going to end up with multiple puppies, correct? Yeah, you could have litters, uh, you know, and it's going to vary in size. You know, there's, there's a limit on how many family members you can have in your house and that sort of thing. But it's not uncommon to have a litter of, you know, several puppies and be able to see them grow up. And that's going to affect your sim as well, correct? Oh yeah, I mean they're gonna have to they're gonna have to take care of these puppies, you know, or these kittens and that sort of thing. The good news is, is since you can play the puppy and the kit the, um, themselves, you have a you have a greater hand into taking care of them yourself. Uh, if the Sims a little busy and has forgotten to take care of those, you know, maybe as the puppy you could go out and, and forage for yourself, knock over the garbage can and get a quick meal, or even go bark and wake up that Sim to feed them. 
Now, does the Sim get time off? Like in Sims 3, you know, the, t the Sim gets time off when she has a baby. Does the Sim get time off or does the dog get time off from work? You know, I hadn't really thought about that. <laughs> I think, well, you know, pets can have careers, so I imagine they're going to have to have a little bit of time off. Um, the Sim themselves, I think they would probably have to skip work to take care of the puppies. Thank you very much. This is a great looking game, and uh-oh, your Sim's getting tired. I think she needs to go, to, go home and uh, possibly get some sleep. <laughs> well, maybe we'll turn the autonomy on. They can take care of themselves. Thank you very much. Thank you.